Hello everybody and welcome to our second day of remote learning. As mentioned yesterday, there will be four session links to join on Microsoft Teams today, not just one like yesterday, and they should all be in the calendar section of your Microsoft Teams app. Our first one is at nine o'clock, and this is our daily catch up and register time. The second one is at 11.40, which is our morning feedback session. And our third one is at one o'clock, which is our afternoon register and explanation of lessons. And our fourth one is at 2.50, which is our afternoon feedback session. As it is a Friday, we will be joining the rest of the school for our gold book assembly. Please make sure you move on from one link to the other Otherwise, you're going to be on a completely different video call to the rest of the class. To start with, we will group together and check in with one another and I will ex explain the lessons for the day. We will then complete English where you'll be creating your own crayon character using the information on the PowerPoint and worksheet is in the home learning pack that, you went, that went home with you on Tuesday. Now, we will complete maths using the White Rose worksheet titled Add Two Digit two four digit numbers with more than one exchange. Please use the video link to the White Rose website, which is on the PowerPoint to help you. We will group back together at 11.40, but you're going to have Mr. Lord for this. He's going to take your morning feedback session as I have a meeting from 11 until 12. So he will mark your maths answers with you and hear some of your exciting crayon character inventions. At 12 o'clock, we will have lunch as usual and then regroup back together at one o'clock where I will explain to you the afternoon's lessons and read a section of our class story, Varjak Paul. We will complete science. Now, there isn't a worksheet for science, so don't worry, it's you haven't lost it. Just simply watch the PowerPoint, watch the videos, and if you have any resources at home, you can create your own lever and the instructions for this are on the PowerPoint. Then to finish the learning off for the afternoon, there is a spelling worksheet in your home learning packs and the instructions are on the PowerPoint. Before our gold book assembly at 2.30, you can enjoy some well-earned golden time as you've been complete stars this week. And there are some fun activities you could do on the PowerPoint for this, or you can simply just relax until the assembly. We will then join the rest of the school for the gold book assembly and then quickly regroup back together to mark our spellings and for you to have to ask any questions you may have regarding next week's home learning. This is one of the most fun lessons in our Day the Crayons Quit unit, so I hope you're excited too. Today in English, our learning objective is to develop a new crayon character and our success criteria are to create a character with personality traits, explain why your character wants a place in the crayon box and understand that authors create strong characters. You will need to watch the YouTube video link on Dandelion Crayon. Now, Dandelion Crayon is retiring from the crayon box and this video celebrates him and says farewell. Therefore, because he is leaving, there is a space in the crayon box for a new crayon. And there are lots of crayons fighting to take his place in the box. Your task is to create a crayon character that is worthy enough of a place in the crayon box. The link under the heading Colour Inspiration takes you to a website with lots of different colours that you can choose from. When creating your new character, consider its personality traits, its hobbies, what it likes, what it dislikes, who they are friends with and who they aren't friends with, strengths, bad habits and fears. You can write all of these on your worksheet in your home learning pack as well as draw your crayon character and colour it in if you've got colours at home. I look forward to seeing them all. If you follow the link under the colour inspiration heading, it takes you to a website and there's lots of different colour palettes just like this. Now there are some really wacky ideas and there are some really simple ideas. So choose a colour that really takes your fancy and get creating your crayon character for the new box. As an extension, please think about how your crayon character would speak. If they have an accent, what level of formality do they speak in? Do they speak quietly because they are shy or are they outgoing like dandelion crayon? And do they wear any accessories? In maths, you need to work through the white rose worksheet titled add two four digit numbers with more than one exchange. If you finish this worksheet, please complete the extension on this slide. We will mark our answers together during our feedback session this morning. For science this afternoon, please read through the PowerPoint and watch the videos to help you understand how levers work. 
If you have time and the resources at home, you can create your own lever following the instructions on this PowerPoint. In spellings this week, we are focusing on homophones. As discussed briefly on Tuesday, with advice and advise, advice is the noun, a thing, place or name, and advise is the verb, a doing word. Please look up the meanings of these words on the PowerPoint if you are unsure on the difference between the two homophones, and then use them in a sentence so that I can check you understand the difference between them. You can use both homophones in the same sentence if you wish to, like for example, Right then, class, could you please write the date in your book? You do have this worksheet in your home learning packs. Here is just a little fun spelling quiz. So there are four sentences and you need to work out which homophone fits the gap correctly. We will mark these together this afternoon in our feedback session after our gold book assembly. You have all been absolutely amazing this week and have adapted to such a change to our usual way of learning brilliantly. I am very proud of you all and want you all to enjoy some golden time at home. There are a few suggestions on the slide, but you don't have to do any of them if you don't want to. Simply just have a break from learning before our gold book assembly at 2.30 to see who our star has been this week.